We was hey the Knicks. Yeah, man. Cause they, Pat Riley was there. I said, "Oh, my nigga, Pat there." Shout to Pat Riley. <laughs> they was playing. They was. They, he went down the lane, and I seen it. He Ewing had that one little arm extended. Tried to do a, a fancy layup versus dropping in. Was that, Pat, was, that, that, was, that, was that Pat That was Pat Snicks. That was Pat That's Nicks. before, that's before Van Gundy got there. That yeah. binged out the end of it. I'm like, man. Yeah, that was Pat Snicks. I mean, listen, if, if, any, I, if any year is a year for the Knicks to do it, it's this year. I thought Pat Riley was in the mob, dog. I They're thought he was a mob boss. They're not going to do it. I said Pat Riley in the mob. I like nah. him. If, if, if anything is a year for them to do it, it's this year. But they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Boston going to screw it up somehow. Uh, I think Giannis gonna end up leaving the Bucks. Y'all see the cap? We in the playoffs. Giannis gonna end up trying to lead the Bucks. So with us, we can let's transition into we talk about sports. We got all our other stuff out. We can last six segments mm-hmm. talking about sports. So Caitlin Clark Man. loses to South Carolina. Man, I didn't like the narrative. Shout out Staley. Shout out Don Staley for doing what she was supposed to do. I didn't like. I didn't like the narratives that a lot of um, the news outlets were doing, focusing more on Caitlin Clark losing. Then on South Carolina winning, mm-hmm. and I think I think, I think and that's not cool. I think it says a lot though about Kaylin Clark, Clark's class because every time she had a chance to mention it, she was class personified when she mentioned Don Staley in uh, University of South Carolina, she was. who went undefeated. Right, um, they've only lost three games coach, in like, right, right, like, like she, four years or something. She's crazy. starting a whole new regimen down there, and like the thing is. <laughs> Uh, Kaylin mentioned it in so many different interviews and like, yo, I, I look up to her, like, you know, I was scouted by her, like, you know what I'm saying? Could you imagine if Kaylin Clark would have been on the University of South Carolina, how big this would have been? But anyways She actually won the ring. Yeah. For what she for what she's or not done, ring a championship. For so. what she for what she's done, they get a, they get a ring if they win. Oh, okay. Uh for what she's done for women's college basketball and what the the the, the light that was shot because I I mean you can't take away we watched it. Like we Do you we think that, that was it. just her or was it just a bunch of dope women at the same time? It was what? a bunch of dope so, women. So I, I give you that, but it was Definitely her carrying a lot of that torch because we knew about Juju. Juju was, but she was a freshman, right? You knew about Caitlyn because last year when she was doing this shit. And then, of course, we know about the uh, tall white girl from Stanford. I forgot her name. Um, uh, you know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. And then there was uh, oh, there was uh, the UConn page page back page bucket. Well, you can't call that. You can't call that play in a, in a final play. You can't call no fucking offensive offensive foul. You can't do that. It's the right call. Nah, that was a horrible. I mean, that was a horrible is, call. No, no, I won't say it's a horrible call. No, that girl was that was a bad screen though. You can't call that. But you, you can't. I mean, but she was literally on that girl. They called it on Gino. I say, oh, you I can't call, you call it. Can't call it on Gino. No, they can't call they call it on shit, Gino. man. Not you can't Gino. Call that shit, man. You call that on me. You call no fucking offensive foul. You call that to be decided. Oh, Hubert Davis or somebody like that. Dumb shit like Hubert Davis team get that call. Not Gino. But there was a lot of side stories. With <laughs> Come Google. on, man. there was Gino. a lot of side stories. Women's college basketball. We really thought that Haley Van Leaf was gonna be her for uh, LSU. Uh, Angel Reese showed that she could handle this, hand, handle both sides of the ball. Um, but Kaylin Clark carried the torch for women's college basketball, bro. I just hate that. So what is, happens now? Does does it fall, or is somebody gonna pick it back up? Uh, no, nah, there's a lot. There's a lot of a new a new names that popped up. Juju, uh, you got Paige Buck, Paige Buckers, who's coming back uh, next year for UConn. You got the uh, you got a lot of uh, a lot of new faces. Shit, what's gonna happen with South Carolina? You got a lot of new. Um, I commend you. New looks for, for knowing what's happening. You every but, day. Y'all watch this girl basketball? Nah, nah, every but, day. But listen, I'm gonna tell you what though. Like, uh, uh, you was real. What, what was the uh, what was her name? The, uh, pro basketball. Dana Tarasi. She said it best. Oh, Diane. She said, yeah. she said it, we got We're, something for her. Ass. No, no. Yeah, so yeah. many words. They were and like, they, was, so what do you think? She's like, it's going to be a real dose of reality come when they come to these teams. Because, again, you got grown women that are, I mean, you know what I'm saying, that are, that have been there. Is she going to be Steph and, and it won't matter? So, this is the thing, though. This is the crazy thing, though. The the, the effect is starting to show itself. Because oh, Indiana, she going to be for debt. Indiana Fever tickets have already started to skyrocket. Yeah. The price done went up. Yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen around the rest of the league. But this first year, at least, for the first half of it. You better good no good damn way. If I if I'm the commissioner for WNBA, I'm like, hey, wherever wherever she play, I don't care if she go two for fifty. Hey man, I want I want I want I want cameras on her for every game. This is gonna be a following trend. So I'm asking. I mean, she's already been invited to the fucking uh, NBA um, All Star game where Steph is gonna go against her. And, and they the did last year. Yeah, I'm just like. So uh, it's but I got a question: win. Is she gonna get to the WNBA 
and take it by storm, how, kind of how Steph no. did? No. Or she's going to be more of a gemmer for that? No. Damn. <laughs> damn. Jimmy Fredette really is averaging damn. He was averaging damn near 40 in that Chinese league, dog. <laughs> but he couldn't hit shit in the summer league. He couldn't hit shit in that summer league. That boy Jim, Jimmy Fredette is, was, is the Caitlin Clark of the men's no, game. Oh, you can't say what? Yeah, Jimmy Fredette was is the is the is the what he was the Caitlin Clark a men's basketball, a men's college, college basketball, basketball at the team. time. Yeah, oh, they thought Jimmy was or, or Adam Morrison. Oh, white folks was ready for Jimmy boy. I remember. I, and it was the BYU. <laughs> no, that was the year. That was the year that Brad Bill was in. Uh, was at Florida. I remember that. I remember that year. I remember that year. <laughs> or or or, yeah. or Mark Mo- uh, Morrison. Morrison. Come yeah. on, Adam. Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison. Yeah. I'm saying, remember how he was uh, he gassed was really, up? He was really nice too. That boy, he was. He was Dan Dickow. Like, if y'all remember yeah, Dan Dickow was being know, gassed you know, up at yeah, Gonzaga too? Yeah, exactly. I got a long list of white boys. If you want me to keep See, going, which, I mean, but, but, shout out to David Lee though. David yeah, Lee. David, David Lee. Lee was the truth though. He was a David beast. One cat that was, thought he was hood though. That got remember got locked up was remember Teddy Dupay. I remember that <laughs> from yeah, Florida. Shit, they yeah. got locked up a little. He, he got. Well, no, they've had some guys though. Because yeah. uh, I was gonna say Florida uh, has some. A lot no, of guys. I'm talking about some white guys got to the bed and made some noise. Kevin Love did. Yeah, yeah, Love yeah. But did. I'm talking about them guys that had like the green light, like Caitlin Clark. Yeah, where they could put up 30, 40 oh, shots a oh, game. Yeah. Hey, oh, Jimmer definitely had that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Jimmer yeah. is Caitlin and, and couldn't hit nothing. And Jimmer was a top ten pick, but wasn't he? But the thing about it, yeah, he yeah. was. Jimmer was a lottery pick. But the thing about it is though, Caitlin's percentage. If you look at their percentages in college right now, I'm sure her percentage was way more. Her percentage was damn near a 45% clip from three point range, and she was shooting from the fucking logo. Like, I I, I, I saw the hype going into it last year because I'm like, okay, you know, white girl that can hit a shot. I get it. No, she was hooping, man. It was different because she was, she, she finished the game with all these threes, but then she'd have like eight or nine assists, and then she'd have like seven or eight rebounds, right? And I'm just like, oh, no, nah, she a one man, she a one woman show. She's showing out for real, for real. Like, I ain't going to front you. I st- I'm, I'm going to go get me an Angel Reese jersey. I'm going to get me a okay. Caitlin Clark jersey. Right. But I need to get them now because I, I know they, they going to go I, up. I, I already know. I already know. I want to get it. Prices. <laughs> I want to get I want to get a Juju jersey too. Uh, no lie. But, uh, but yeah, I, I already know because of the schools they're behind and because who? Nike's behind it, they, yeah. them jerseys is going to be who, who? This sounds horrible because I didn't watch. Who, who won the men's game? Wait, 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 Right and I'm, and and the thing is like Caleb Perry didn't win enough to be in Kentucky. He had too many lot too many nah, five star athletes. The problem, tonight. the problem he wasn't even yeah. in the Sweet Sixteen. The problem with Caleb Perry was he promoted. He One was true to himself. He promoted what it was. The problem with BBN was I know that, but we want to see rings from it. And Coach Caleb Perry was listen. You this is not the same. This is not the same youth. That I had with Anthony Davis and them, like, cause he even says it. Anthony Davis was, was a who was on that squad. Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis, was it um, Terrence, um, Terrence fuck, Jones. Uh, who the other lefty yeah. for that played with the Lakers? He was, he, he was Randall. It was Randall. Oh, um, Julius Randall. Julius Randall was on that Ooh. team. Um, ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I forgot the guards. The guard, the guard play was nice too. It was Devin Booker. No, it was Devin Booker. No, nah, they lost that year. They, say, yeah, they, 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 they went out there at the same time. I forgot. Like I for, no, they went there the same year. But 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 I for, I forgot. That, that's the Avengers. Twenty twelve. Marquise T. Man, T. Yeah, T. I'm, that's the, I'm about to say they, they yeah. had the damn Avengers. Nah, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. Gilchrist. That's the other one. Gil, Gilchrist was on there, so they won that. Terrence Jones as well. Some T. Jones. Jones. Yeah, Terrence yeah, Jones yeah. Was on there. I like Terrence Jones. He yeah. came to the league and disappeared um, after he had that little surgery. But anyways. Um, I think Keep in mind he had Boogie and John Wall on the team. Boogie, was, Boogie wasn't on. No, no, Boogie wasn't out on uh, the one with Anthony Davis. No, no, no he's talking about. Oh, I'm no. talking about Coach yeah. Cal had if you Boogie name, and John Wall on yeah. the team and did only lo- yeah. they lost the lead eight. If yeah. you 
look at the list of of of, of players that that coach has. He has forty yeah. NBA first rounders. Yeah. Four. There is no reason why they shouldn't at least got to the final four consistently. Like, there's no reason. But see, but 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 this is this is also the piece. Is it's, it's like give or take, right? And like, move it's in Arkansas. Known, it's known. It's known that when Coach Cal come to and your no, Little Rock, one of my favorite cities. I love nah, Little Rock. Like when, that ain't Little Rock where you gonna be. He's gonna be in Fayetteville all know, the way man, another man, hour he, to he <laughs> west. Where, you, where, uh, where Jake Holland then was at. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vietnam, nigga, you better duck your head, dog. <laughs> hey, co- hey, coach, don't wear that red razorback shit down in Vietnam. You get your ass shot. Um, but uh, what I what I was gonna say is, when you talk about Coach Cal and what he was bringing, the 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 vibe that he was bringing, any player that go there, everybody that knew they're only gonna be there maybe one, two years tops. And the thing is, with the wave of how you know things was moving in NIL also being a factor now Ooh, NIL, like boy. you you couldn't continue that that kind of vibe at um at a at you at, at a place like UK based off how he was doing it you see what i'm saying yeah. so like you can't like like in, in the way this NIL deal is going to be is he going to succeed in Arkansas you think i think for for the flavor of what he, he can does, hide, though. he can hide too. No, hide. no, 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 no. For the not, play- not, what I mean, hide is it's not as much pressure. If they go to Sweet nah, Sixteen or Arkansas, they go about this shit. Like, but the, cool. but the flavor of what he brings, kind of like the prom effect. Like I can promise, Sleepy's kid, Durham's you're right, kid, you're right. No, kid, you know, I take the y'all back. Come, if y'all know. come here, if y'all come here, I, I, you know what I'm saying? You gonna end up having that way. End up having a position. Pope, as they coach, and they finna really fall off. Hold on, hold on. Also, Kentucky plays. Arkansas twice, yeah, yeah, like a year, like in those games are before before We're Coach Cal, they was already competing. Can you imagine that first game back where he got to go to Rupp Arena? Woo! He's gonna mess around and win that with the players he got. I mean, is, is so is this Kentucky Four when they had uh, what, 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 when y'all had from University of uh, what was Kentucky? the coach y'all had before Doherty at uh, North Carolina when y'all had them dead two or three years Shit. right after uh, Dean Smith retired. Uh, Ooh, I remember Doherty that. And it was uh, it was right up before, else. right before Doherty though. What was the, it? Was like a coach what like for that? two years right before yeah, in between forgot, Doherty. Is this what this was? This what Kentucky's gonna go through for the next two three yeah. years? Yeah, yeah. Because it ain't flashy. Ain't nobody want to play for no Mark Pope that I mean, that was coaching at BYU. I mean, again, you ain't again, got no swag. You was at BYU, again, man. Again, like, you was letting them dudes on BYU much, with them haircuts. That's much, all I need to know about you as a coach. Hate as much as they because again, I got I got outlawed on my school website too. Kentucky was talking about BYU players. Oh my. Because I said because we was playing them and they they outlawed me for three days on the Iowa State cycle of for real because I said of course these cats will have these haircuts like this <laughs> <laughs> they go to BYU <laughs> but no but, no truth and I said no real black man would ever yeah. want to go to BYU but like when you talk when <laughs> and you, you're not wrong when you talk about when you talk about the cachet of what Kentucky was like like That's done like Calipari built that. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, now, granted, before they, he they, got, no, but they, they had, they, they, they had, had some, they had some good. Uh, Rondo was there, his team. They did some numbers. They, they, they got, they got a say, lot of history. Say, Kentucky has a lot of history. Kentucky got a lot of history. But what has Kentucky been the last? What? How long you been there? Ten oh, plus years. Twelve. Yeah. 12, Thirteen. What no, have you known? No, he been there since. But what? What, so what 14. have you known Kentucky to be these last decade? One and done. Mm-hmm. Flashy, yep. Kentucky offense that he created, and three or four first round picks on the team. You look at John Wall. John Wall burst what he want, what what Coach Cal wanted to do. You look at the Memphis team. Hey, get the rebound, those. You get the rebound. You pass it up to uh, you pass sucker. it up. You pass it up to uh, Daryl. Daryl, you get the ball to the point guard and 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 and, move, and, move, and, and move. I'll never forget Coach Davis Cal. Team, when you get the ball, you take that motherfucker to the rim. That's Kentucky offense. I'll never push, forget them for that. Push, 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 move, 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 push. But now, when you talk about the coaching, okay, hey, you just got fouled, Sleepy. I need you to make these free throws so we can go to the next round. You brick not one, two, three, but four free throws, and then that's how Kansas beats you. I I, like, I saw like, so many missed free throws. Like like that's and that and that's the part where they gonna hold Coach Cal at when it not not the point where you can be flashy, but when it's when you down the five, when you down five, and I need and I and I got I got the players to do it, but I need y'all to hone in and listen to me, right? That hey. This is the play we need to make so that we can do. I need Sleepy. I need you. I know you're a five-star athlete. You're a first-round draft pick. But I need you to commit to setting a screen for Daryl because he got a better hand than you tonight. You're going to be like, the fuck, nigga? I'm a first-round <laughs> draft pick. I'm not I'm, I'm going. no pick for him. I'm Give going. Ball, I'm shooting. Yeah. That's what that's that's where the difference is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going for mine. So when he goes for it, he gonna have to realize that. And then plus you got nil. You know what I'm saying? Nil will get so big when motherfuckers can start trading in the middle of the year. 
I'm telling you, bro. You this is a wild bro. take, though. You gonna be listen? I'm t- N- N- I- L- this is a whoa, 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 whoa. I'm telling you, what? bro. So wait, get that big. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like he's gonna get that big. <laughs> NIL will get that big. Let me say it. You get twenty ball by fucking University of Wilmington, and then you know what? Fuck it, I'm gone. I'm so, gonna end up in, in UConn. So, so what you're saying is UConn in a month. Wait, 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 wait. What you saying is the middle of the semester. Yep. I'm telling you, we'll get that bad. We ain't even took midterms yet. Hey, nope, gone. Bye. <laughs> and they just go. I'm I, out. And I, I'm as, as a student gonna yep. be like, I'm out. And I'm re-enrolling same semester. The same semester. And I have money, baby. <laughs> and I have money, baby. At another school. <laughs> ain't ship. Ain't ship paperwork. It ain't ship paperwork. It ain't ship paperwork. <laughs> They sh- listen, now I go be like, now I go be, hey, look, now I go be at wherever you go be at, and they gonna be like, he gonna be like, daddy, hey, that's a hey, cr- that's a crazy take right they there. Offering but- me to, they offering me this to go here. I guess we leaving. You mean come, you mean send the van up to come up and move? I guess we're gone. Go on, go on tell, go on tell your friends. Bye. We'll see you later. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's what NIL doing, dog. I'm telling you, watch, watch. It's gonna happen, bro. That was just- I give it five years. <laughs> five years. Shit, uh, low key with college football. Watch, watch. Okay, Michigan, hey, and Michigan this already needs talking to be a shit. Clip. Michigan already talking <laughs> shit. You seen that shit? You seen that shit about Michigan? They already yeah. talking shit. Yeah, it's okay. Michigan's done. I don't give a fuck. The fuck them. Daryl owe me a check for this, so I need y'all to start supporting the watching. You know what I'm saying? If you like what you see, you know what I'm saying. Mess with us. Scroll up, see what you like. He'll have the subjects listed. But yeah, Daryl, cut my check. <laughs>